It's a, a really special Christmas hymn. Um, I first heard it in church as a, a young boy, but I also uh, was aware of the arrangement by Ralph Carmichael uh, for Nat King Cole, uh, and that planted the seeds uh, as an idea to take a, an ancient hymn and give it a contemporary arrangement. Originally this was arranged for Earthstone's Trio, which is Cass and Brian on flute and Betsy Taylor on cello and myself on piano. Um, but I had this idea that it would be nice to introduce voices into the arrangement and I didn't want the weightiness of a choir uh, so I was looking for a, a soprano and mezzo partnership and, and that was when I discovered um, that Carol and Julia were doing their master's degree at the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland and I was able to uh, get them on board for this arrangement. I'm really excited that this is going to be uh, the debut release for um, Vox Duo on Ioko Classical. Um, Ioko Classical have already released um, two Christmas arrangements with Airstone's Trio, uh, and this just is a really natural development um, for Vox Duo and Airstone's Trio to collaborate. Airstone's Trio has uh, had some great exposure, particularly with uh, support from Classic FM. Um, and BBC um, for the Christmas arrangements uh, and my hope with uh, the Earthstone Trio Vox Duo collaboration is that we can introduce Vox Duo to a wider audience as well. Well Carla and I met at the Royal Conservatory of Scotland. We did our bachelors together and now we're in masters and we just found that our voices blended really well together and we found repertoire that excited us and wanted to work on together and it worked so well and we enjoyed doing it so much that it sort of blossomed into Vox Duo and we decided to, to keep it going and, and find more music to perform together and, and share with people and hopefully bring something new. <laughs> very varied so things that um, the audience will enjoy and like crowd pleasers but also things that we enjoy and that are a bit less lesser known but um, show what we work on daily at, um, in our degrees. At the moment um, we both have such a passion and love for opera and being able to be characters together so we're able to like act that out um, on stage during the um, duets but we also love to do lighter things like musical theatre um, and give people a laugh and also just some art song because the harmonies um, are so beautiful and um, as Julia said with the blend of our voices we um, love to be able to create something really special with that. Well it's such a um, a well-known and loved carol and um, definitely one of my favourites and the arrangement is just so different and beautiful and for me personally I love the, the clashes and harmonies that myself and Julia have at times when our voices, there's just that dissonance and I love being able to lean into that and also the instruments as well because that's um, something that we've actually never done before is collaborate with instrumentalists so it's a real privilege for us to be able to be part of this. I didn't ever think that I would um, be, you know, a musician in Scotland, but I remember when I first came here I got so excited by the city and it's amazing to have so many different musical venues and, and events and organisations so close together. Um, so it's wonderful to be able to bounce off and meet so many people, I suppose that's how, how this has happened, knowing people from the RSNO and and you and in the conservatoire being so close together, um, I think it really makes for a, a great environment for a musical city. The aim for it is to um, give us slightly more exposure as well, which would be amazing because um, 
it's really nice to think about we started this for fun and as Julia said with a bang and it just kind of happened and it's really nice to be able to look at where we've gotten to um, and see that this is the, the way forward and thanks to you and an Earthstones trio. Oh.